In this video, I'm gonna show you how to modify these Hobie cart wheels so you can put them on your kayak without tilting it over. That's coming up right now, so stay tuned. This is a set of Hobie Trax 2-30 wheels. It's a heavy duty version of the cart that Hobie makes. It's got the big beach wheels and it's perfect for the PA14, PA12. It's designed for it. You don't have to modify your kayak for it. It works with the scuppers. I cover that in a different video. I'll put the link up here for you guys to check out. This cart isn't modified yet because we're gonna modify this cart together. But for now, let me show you what, how, what it looks like. You're gonna need a pair of Hobie pad eye screw in uh, tops. This is what we're gonna use to replace the bolt that's flush with, some, with one that has a pad eye. So we can use the pad eye to tether the, the bungee to. And there's a link for the parts in the description to this video. It's about five bucks for a pair and about five bucks shipping. So it's about 10 bucks for this, for this little kit. You're also gonna need two bungees. And you're gonna need like a little flathead screwdriver or like this file to pop the end off this cart. I've seen other mod modification videos where they drill this side too to match this, but I'm not gonna drill it. I'm just gonna put the little pad eye up there instead. So let's take this off. You just have to basically work it from side to side. Once you get it, once you get a little bit of a gap, I switched screwdrivers because the smaller screwdriver was was uh, breaking the plastic. So once I had a, once I had enough of a gap, I put in a bigger screwdriver and just started putting pressure on each side, taking going a little bit by a little bit until it, it nudged out. So I'm gonna shave off a little bit of the edge. Basically, it's like I'm gonna shave off a little bit of the edge all the way around to get it to fit better. Because um, right now it's basically it's too too wide for the pipe. So I'm gonna shave off a little bit this way and see if we get it to fit just right. We don't want it to be too loose because then it'll pop off. So a pretty good amount just to get it to, so that it would, just to get it to, so that it would fit in the top about halfway a little bit. And then I can actually start using the thread to screw it in. So once it's in place, I kind of put pressure down, turn it and That's it right there, so that's what it's gonna look like. As you can see, I'm wearing different clothes because it's a different day. I gotta go look up how to take this off without ruining it so I could maybe put it back on later down the road if I need it. Okay, so here we go. So first you need to take off the bottom cap. It just looks like a overhand knot, so we just have to untie this and get this off the little plunger. Break it down. All right. So that popped off. I untied the bungee. It goes all the way through here, all the way down to the top. And that should let us pull this guy out. So I'm gonna let go of the bungee. And there it is. Okay, <laughs> a little sand in there. That get, lets us keep this so we don't have to cut it. And we can use it again down the road if we decide to convert this back to just a regular uh, Trax 230. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a bungee through that, that fits through that hole this way so it's like a double it's like it's a paracord basically here that's uh, crimped to the to a thinner bungee and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these paracords through the through the hole here pull them out the bottom and tie it down to the bottom that way I can adjust how long how much of this bungee sticks out okay so I put some paracord through there like in a loop and it's coming out of this bottom hole where the old bungee was tied to. The axle is there, so I'm gonna put a knot here so it, so it gets stuck on the axle on the way up. From the, once we pull the actual bungee from the top, it's gonna to pull all the way in. I'm just gonna tuck it in there. From the top, we're gonna to have a bungee giving us that force that we need. So it's, it's like about a one foot bungee. The other end is, is going through a loop and on that paracord, that paracord is like right here. And then on the other side, we're gonna use a, a heavier bungee to Help to do most of the work of pulling it up. This is basically just for lining, and this is gonna be more, doing most of the work. So let's try that. I'm gonna crimp down one side so it doesn't come off, or, or just bend this part so it doesn't come off. Okay, so that's in place. Okay, I basically straightened out the hook, and then I made it flat. So now when we put it on the, under the cart, it's gonna pull it up. It looks kind of thin, and it looks like it's flimsy, but it's only really doing the work of pulling up 
the cart, not the wheel. So the wheels stay on the floor, and it's going to just basically do that, right? It's not that, it's not that heavy. So this should be enough uh, tension, even with just one. Like, see, it should be enough to pop the cart in place. It's basically, it's basically what you want, it's just for it to pop in place. Okay. Now, before we try the actual cart on the kayak, I'm going to show you guys a little trick that'll save you some time when you're fishing the the hooks through the scupper hole. A four foot section of like paracord. You're basically going to tie two knots. You make a loop and you make an, a knot, an overhand knot with that loop. So, just like that, real easy. Do the same thing on the other side. There it is. So first you're going to put the, the cart on the floor with the, with the cart in the front and you're going to want the wheels to line up with the last eyelet for the bungee on your scope on the, on the back of your kayak or like the E, the R, and the angler if you have a 2018. So you're going to take the whole kayak, you're going to pick it up from the back and you're going to put it on top of the wheels. So I don't think the wheels are too far back so I'm going to pull the kayak a little bit back. I think that might be just right. It looks about right, okay? And then we're gonna take the little hack tool we just made and we're gonna put it down the scuppers, both sides. Yeah. Then we're gonna go under the kayak and we're gonna hook hook the little hook on this, on this loop on each side. There's one and here's number two. That's gonna allow us to bring up both bungees. There they are. And then we're gonna take them from here. And this one I'm gonna loop it around the bar for the seat and then hook it on itself. And this one I'm gonna hook it onto the paddle harness. This basically gets coiled up and I like to keep it in this little side compartment. Up there for whenever I need it. So now the, the bungees are in place. The wheel cart is up. It's not in, the, it's up. It kind of has tension on it. So here's the magic. The magic is you want to bring it up slowly so that the wheels are perpendicular to the floor. And it gives you a chance for the cart to line up. And go, there you go, boom, that's it. So it's in place. And that way, unclip it from here. I'll clip it from here. You're done. <laughs> it's rolling back because it's downhill. But you're done. That's it. That's uh, the magic of putting on the wheels with this with this method. You don't have to tilt your kayak over, and it's actually pretty easy to do with one person. It does take a little bit of getting used to. If you lift up the kayak a little too fast, then the wheels have a tendency to swing forward and you'll miss. So that's okay. Just uh, let it settle and bring it back up slowly. So when it's uh, perpendicular to the floor, you'll be able to get it in the scuppers and. It's actually easier on a flat ground. This is a little bit of an incline. Okay, now I'm gonna put this kayak away. If you're interested in seeing when I unbox my Hobby 2018 Pro Angler, check it out video right here. And if you wanna see how I transport my kayak, how I load it into my truck and from my truck to the beach or lawn tramp, then you wanna check out this video up here. And if it's your first time watching one of my videos, please consider subscribing. You can do so by hitting this round icon up here. And remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Woo!